Hi, I'm Paul Rivera, and we're here continuing to discuss some of the amplifiers that I did for Fender. And this is one called the Super Champ. It is an 18 watt amplifier with a single tenant speaker that utilized a completely different topology than any Fender before it. And it was my desire to create the ultimate pocket rocket, which is a, just a high gain, super screaming, small little amp that you could stip, sit on a stool do a gig, record a session, whatever it was, take it in your suitcase and fly do a fly date with it, and we succeeded. This has become quite a legend, this Super Champ. I own two of them. I own one of the first prototypes is with a four-tube preamp, as well as a production version here. I found this one at a local dealer. It was in perfect condition, and I had to snag it. So anyway, it utilizes, like I've said before when we were talking about the stage lead, utilizes the reverb driver circuit as part of the distortion character for the lead sounds on this amplifier. Uses two 6v6 output tubes. 6v6s are some of my favorite output tubes and the reason being is they sound very close to EL84s or 6BQ5s except they're a lot more reliable. Great distortion tone, super warm, fat, and so this amplifier does it all. So a lot of the 80s guys like Steve Ferris with Mr. Mister and Andy with Go West and Warren D. Martini and so on, a lot of these guys played these amplifiers in the 80s and they would do their entire tour dates with a pair of these in stereo. It just has that great distortion sound and a really decent clean sound and because it's only 18 watts they can keep their stage volume fairly low. It also became a hit in the recording studios because it got such a classic tone for such a small size, easy to mic, and so on. Some of these features in this amplifier, of course, like I've said before, came about from my modifying fenders for the session guys in Los Angeles. So features like this pull fat switch were, came from Jay Graydon and I when we worked together on the six position fat switch. And so the idea of actually doing a lead sound also came from Princeton's and Champs that I modified for people in Studio City. Sorry. We developed a really cool tenant speaker for this amplifier, specifically for this amplifier when I was at Fender, and we had an optional speaker as well. It came standard with a ceramic magnet 10 inch, and the optional speaker was an Electrovoice 10. Now when we did the Electrovoice 10, it added a huge amount of headroom, at least 5 dB of headroom, over what the stock speaker was. The only penalty was a lot of weight. Hi, I'm Paul Rivera, and thanks so much for watching today, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have more videos coming.